Use PAP page 113 Advisory Opinion 20 Advice from the ASB on the issue. Relevant USPAP and Advisory References Definitions Section. Specifically the definition of appraisal, appraisal review, and assignment on Langwax phones of Anoitun Polum, Pad or D Hots Black Circle Standard 3, Appraisal Review, Development Standard 4. Appraisal review, reporting portions of the referenced material are cited in this advisory opinion. An appraiser performing an appraisal review assignment should carefully study the complete text to ensure a proper understanding of the requirements and the text in standards 1, 5, 7, or 9, as applicable, as well as those in standards 3 and 4. A. Terminology when reading the references cited above. Appraisers performing appraisal review assignments, referred to as reviewers in USPAP, should note that the terminology used in standards 3 and 4 have very specific meanings. The term appraisal review is used in USPAP to identify the activity of a reviewer in an appraisal review assignment. Appraisers sometimes use such terms as desk review, field review, complete review, limited review, technical review, and administrative review. However, without appropriate explanation, these terms and phrases can result in misunderstanding about the function being performed by a reviewer. While such terms may be convenient labels for use in a business setting, they do not necessarily impart the same meaning in every situation. Rather than simply using labels, reviewers should also accurately define the scope of work in fact. Standards Rule 3-2, G, requires the reviewer to determine the scope of work necessary to produce credible assignment results in accordance with the scope of work rule, and Standards Rule 4-2, G, requires the reviewer to state the scope of work used to develop the appraisal review. These requirements are designed to ensure that an intended user of appraisal review results is not misled as to the reviewer's scope of work and the basis for his or her opinions and conclusions. The terms review appraisal and review appraiser are also sometimes used in practice, primarily to refer to the marketing of services or to an appraiser's functional status in employment. These phrases are not used in standards 3 and 4, in part to avoid giving confusing implications, such as, for example, the impression that an appraisal is always part of a review. b. How purpose and intended use affect scope of work A reviewer's scope of work in an appraisal review assignment is determined primarily by the purposes of the assignment and the intended use of the assignment results. Standards Rule 3-2, B, requires, in part, that the reviewer must identify the intended use of the reviewer's opinions and conclusions. In addition, Standards Rule 3-2, C, states the reviewer must identify the purpose of the appraisal review, including whether the assignment includes the development of the reviewer's own opinion of value or review opinion related to the work under review. Examples of intended use include, without, limitation, quality control, audit, qualification, or confirmation. Each type of intended use affects the scope of work that may be appropriate for a particular appraisal review assignment. As examples, a client may want the reviewer to develop, standard 3, and report, standard 4, an opinion as to the quality of another appraiser's work, and, 1 only state the corrective action to be taken by the appraiser with regard to curing any deficiency, leaving the client to decide whether to interact with the appraiser to accomplish the correction. Or 2. Act on behalf of the client to interact with the appraiser who prepared the original work to ensure any deficiency is appropriately corrected by that appraiser. Or 3. Make corrections to cure an error, such as a mathematical miscalculation, by showing what the calculation would have been if correct, but without expressing the result as the reviewer's own opinion of value, are 4. Make corrections to cure a deficiency. 
expressing the result is the reviewer's own opinion of value, which is to be developed within the same scope of work as was applicable in the assignment that generated the original work. For Advisory Opinions 2018-2019 Edition, The Appraisal Foundation 11.